the Department of Physics and Astronomy at Cal State Long Beach has about 100 undergraduate majors and about 60 master's degree students. Our program is set up so the students can reach their full potential, whether it's going to the PhD or getting a career in the industry or physics teaching in the high school or community colleges. Cal State Long Beach is a great school for just different opportunities. Here we have a lot of teaching support, we have experimental support, computational support, so anything you want to do, here you can feel comfortable doing it. The first class you take as a real physics major is 310. Which Pickett is just an amazing professor. He's a faculty uh, undergrad advisor, so he gets along people. So it's, you, you're real welcome here. Professor Abate is an experimental physicist specializing in nano-optics. And he has a special microscope he uses in his research. It actually was one of the first manufactured in the world. So he was able to do a groundbreaking research with his students. Uh, we have a unique technique called near-field uh, microscope, which allows us to look at these small particles directly and study their optical property in real space. These students get hands-on experience on you know, how to use uh, this microscope, how to run it, you know, how does it work, uh, you know, what are these near-field interactions look like. They do also not only experiment, but they also calculate. Our most, uh, most important goal is to train students, both the undergraduate and the graduate students. We are kind of uniquely positioned in this university, uh, having this state-of-the-art research equipment in a university that uh, serves an institution with most number of underrepresented students. Professor Bill is a theoretical physicist using computers and the computational skills to do problem solving. We train students to gain knowledge in, in uh, tools and a tool set, a set of skills uh, using the computer to solve physics problems. We are more uh, focused on low cost, high performance computing. So the computers are not those that you sometimes find where you have thousands and thousands of cores that are run all together. We try actually to make it portable. So they learn skills, advanced skills like uh, parallel programming. Some of them do uh, work with GPUs. Uh, and uh, they, but they learn to use these uh, at the lower level so that uh, wherever they go, they basically can use these tools. We try to involve them in research projects that are of interest to the faculty. That means publishable uh, uh, topics. Quite a big number of uh, our students, uh, in fact, can publish for their faculty. So they contribute sufficiently to the, to the research that they are deemed valuable enough to be a co-author of publications. So, so th that is uh, generally a, a big advantage when they apply to PhD programs, for example. We received the funding from American Physical Society, which is called FISTEC, and that's to reach out to the high school physics communities and then build the network and supporting network for the high school physics teachers. This is the physics demo day at Cal State Long Beach. All the area physics teachers come and we get some people who think they might want to be physics teachers and we all get together and share our cool ideas. It's fun. There is usually one high school physics teacher in a high school. That means they tend to be very isolated and then they don't have a support group within the high school. So we don't really get a chance to talk to each other very often. And so an opportunity like this where we get together and share our best stuff and learn every month, is, it's awesome. I learn something every time I come. Um, even things that I've done before, I see people doing them a different way and I think, wow, isn't that cool? I want to do it that way too. Plus, you know, it's a way to inspire and be inspired. We don't get those opportunities very often. <laughs> We have several advantages. One of them is this one. We, they already have a set of skills that the, a PhD program generally doesn't expect from an entry student. Uh, the other advantage we have is we are fairly small, and so we have direct interactions with the students. They know us, and we know them all by name. And so th that allows us also to coach them, not only for the science part, but maybe also more for the life uh, part, and, uh, and also finding their way, what is the, their best career, wh where they can be involved in the society. So I think there we have a very strong point as a smaller department. 
You wanted to create an environment where it, uh, we can give personalized, small school environment for the students. That's been our goal in the department, as well as we want to support the student success. We want them to have a full experience so they can be successful.